it comes down to that uh, the allegation that he was having an affair and this mistress has revealed pornographic photos involving Mr Dowling and there are claims of um, uh, possible misuse of electorate and parliamentary facilities. So it's a big one for the government today, guys. I, I guess especially, Kath, because as the, is pointed out, he is head of the Ethics Committee within Parliament. That's always unfortunate. Not only that, he's also a member of the PCMC, the Parliamentary Committee that oversees the Corruption Watchdog. So big questions here. I think it's a no-brainer that he has to, uh, if he doesn't do it voluntarily, has to be stood aside from these committees until this is all worked out. There's no response from the government this morning at this stage. They're not returning any phone calls, but um, not a good position to be in. The personal bit of it aside is the, the use of his electorate office. The allegation has been by the former mistress that uh, they had sex in his electorate office and also here at Parliament in his uh, office facilities here at Parliament. So that's the real issue, as you say, Mary, particularly because he's head of the Ethics Committee. It's just uh, a no-brainer what has to happen here. You, you would have thought that he was uh, a member of the team that they thought they could rely on. He's been very outspoken in some of the um, parliamentary estimates committee hearings, not shy of sort of taking ministers and their staff on. So, um, yes, it's, uh, you know, <laughs> I think I say this to you nearly every time. You think you've seen it all in politics and then something comes along and this is certainly in that category.